Welcome to Bears in Exile. It is April 20th and uh, going to look at uh, some charts. We're going to have two videos tonight. Uh, this first video will be the uh, the Dow, the SPX, and the VIX. And the second video will be AGQ, CNO, TNA, and um, that's it. <laughs> Alrighty. So it was all on one video, but it was just too long. Okay, starting with the Dow. Um, more of uh, what we were talking about yesterday came to pass. Uh, on the daily, we have separation now of the short-term moving averages. Very bullish. This is a textbook guppy entry. Come down, test the long-term, bounce off of it. Uh, that looks uh, fantastic. Secondary indicators all have room to move. Not that they mean that much, but uh, it, it is nice to have them on your side regardless. 60 minutes, very, very nice. The uh, secondaries look uh, kind of toppy, but uh, those are secondaries. They can stay up there for a long time with the exception of the MACD histogram. Uh, normally that one doesn't stay up there that long, but uh, you can see that the MACD itself has uh, some room to go and it can stay up there for an extended period of time. Uh, prices can move up as the histogram ticks down, so uh, not a big deal. Uh, we did have some non-uniformity here, uh, but you'll notice that the shortest term moving average did not tick down. Uh, had it done that, then uh, we would have known that there was uh, some sort of a correction in play. But since it didn't, it just went sideways and now is resuming its way up now that the uh, uh, most of the uniformity is has returned. The long-term moving averages are uh, flipping over, which is also a, uh, a guppy sign to, to uh, have an entry. On the 30 minute, uh, same as the 60 minute, uh, this is, uh, it did have a little bit of a flat line and is already starting to tick back up. Um, probably a good uh, indication, I mean this is near the high of the day. Um, the underlying trend is, uh, is very strong on the long term moving averages. Uh, this, looks, this looks very nice. And as you can see on the histogram, there's plenty of room for it to move around. Um, the MACD is headed down. But to uh, get another big pop open tomorrow, and that'll uh, I'll go right up again. Um, Stochastics is is higher than uh, than we'd like, but uh, you can see that it also just uh, goes to sleep up there uh, whenever it wants to. So nothing to worry about there. And the RSI still has room to move. This looks very bullish to me. And the uh, 15 minute looks uh, extremely nice. Nice separation coming out of a uh, partial flatline half flat line very nice and uh, on the five minutes it's uh, just a flat line sitting on top uh, which is fine I mean that it, there is some compression going on with the longer term but this is a five minute you open up with a with a uh, positive move tomorrow and uh, this is uh, on its way yet again Dow looks very nice SPX uh, very similar to the Dow Dow does lead the SPX normally. Uh, you can see that here. Uh, the short-term moving average is, has bounced off and is uh, attempting to cross over here, um, which is fine. I mean, tomorrow uh, another positive move, and it will complete the flip over, and that'll be a textbook guppy entry also. 60 minute, 60 minute looks exactly the same as the Dow 60 minute. So, same thing applies there. 30 minute looks exactly the same as the Dow. Uh, looks very nice. 15 minute, same thing. Nice separation on the long term moving average. And uh, it's coming out of the flat line with the uh, extension of the short term. Looks very nice. And exactly just like the Dow, flat line sitting on top of the long term bar. Positive move will get it right off of there, which is probably going to happen tomorrow.
Looks very nice. And the VIX. If you watched the VIX video from yesterday, um, you knew what to expect. And sure enough, uh, it came to pass just like we were uh, laying out yesterday. Came down, it's lower, got a new uh, lower low. Closing lower low, I should say. All kinds of room to move on the secondary indicators, including the histogram. Um, well, <laughs> if it was going to move up, <laughs> which uh, it probably isn't. You have uh, the long term uh, moving average is uh, getting strength, and uh, so is the uh, short term moving average. Um, it is outside of the Bollinger Band, so uh, a pop up or to the side to get it outside of uh, or inside the Bollinger Band uh, could be expected but it doesn't necessarily have to be that way since you can see back here outside outside half day outside 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 and then back in so we could have another uh, big down tomorrow uh, the most important thing is that uh, we have a lower closing and uh, this, this is green probably because people were still thinking ah oh, the stinking uh, VIX should not be this low well the moving averages say otherwise 60 minute strong long term um, it had a, a little bit of a bubble here but it did not tick up on the shortest it is still pointing down so it moves sideways to correct for that uh, non-uniformity definitely bearish and the 30 minute more of the same and the 15 minute a flat line consensus of a price at 5 519 also to be expected and um, it actually kind of lines up with uh, this previous support they're just trying to they're just trying to do whatever they can to save it but it uh, definitely the benefit of the doubt goes to the to the bears and a 15 and a sorry the five minute we have a double flat line which normally means uh, sit it out until um, until a direction is chosen but this is the five minute and if you believe all the news that was happening after hours today, tomorrow should be very positive, in which case this sucker is going to pull away sharply. And uh, since it is already flatlined, it will reestablish this as a solid bar very quickly. So, and the secondaries have, they can, uh, they can go any which way they want. They're dead center, all of them. So, nothing... Uh, to really be concerned about there if you believe uh, all the earnings reports tonight but um, bearish 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 <laughs> bearish well that's it for the Dow the S&P and the VIX uh, we didn't have as much to say tonight because uh, we're not at a, uh, a possible turning point according to the charts with the information that's available they are going in the direction that we had uh, previously laid out and when that changes we'll have uh, more to say but uh, every day we will touch on them to monitor their progress their strength and uh, and if there's any warning signs so uh, please stay tuned visit us at bearsinexile.com join the forum make some friends toss around some ideas and most of all let's make some money together as always, all investing decisions are your own. This is for entertainment, educational, and time-consuming purposes only. Thank you very much.